New York State Police are investigating new leads in the case of the missing convicts. It's been more than two weeks since Richard Matt and David Sweat broke out of a maximum security prison in New York's North Country. The newest leads have come from towns nearly 400 miles away. Police say the two may have been hopping on and off train tracks in western New York. More than 300 officers have been searching for the two men. They say they won't stop until they're found. We will search under every rock behind every tree and structure until we are confident that that area is secure. Meanwhile, a second prison worker, Gene Palmer, has been linked to the investigation. You see him there. He was a guard in the inmate's cell block. He's been put on paid leave but has not been charged. Oh, the Longhorns prove that teamwork means more than just scoring touchdowns. The unusual way they spent their weekend far from the 40 acres coming up in sports. And I'm still tracking showers and thunderstorms. We're not done with the big storms just yet tonight. There's a big sell on the way. I'll tell you when it gets here and what it looks like as we head into Monday. A change of pace for us coming up. That's next. I'm Tyler C. Swarta. Two violent robbers are at large and police need your help. May 30th, around 9 p.m., two men hit up the Valero on Highway 71 in southeast Austin. One robber, possibly carrying a revolver, pushes the clerk against the wall. His partner points a semi automatic handgun at a customer, then clears the register. Both are in their 20s, about 5 foot 9, with sunglasses and white shirts covering their faces. Someone helped them get away in this silver or gray Toyota Corolla. If you have any information, call 512 472 TIPS. Or text TIP 103 plus your message to crimes. You can also go to AustinCrimestoppers.org. If your tip leads to an arrest, you could get a reward of up to $1,000.